Hi, this is Josh with the Center for Writing and Rhetoric, and this is the screencast for basic editing and sharing on Google Sites. In the previous screencast, Dave Molina showed you not only how to create your own Google account, but also how to create a site on Google Sites. Now, today we're going to show you three things. Firstly, how to edit pages on Google Sites. Secondly, how to create pages. And thirdly, how to share them with your instructor. And I'm going to be using the account that Dave created before. But firstly, I'm going to show you quickly how to move from the main Google page to Google Sites. Of course, I got here by typing in www.google.com into the address bar. Google appears. I'm going to go to the upper right-hand corner and click Sign In and here I'm going to enter in my username and password. And Google will reappear, but now I'm going to be logged in to my account, so I'm going to click on More and go down to Sites. And here we are at Google Sites. Now below here you'll see your site listed and a link to it. You're going to click on the link and I'll expand this and this is your site of course you're gonna have your name up here in the top but this is the area that we want to transform this is gonna be the introduction to your reflective essay or your reflective introduction exactly what kind of content goes in here will be determined by your instructor you may be given specific instructions but what I'm gonna show you is the general process that we're all gonna go through so step one editing a page we're gonna go up to the top and click this edit page button and you'll see here a pretty standard editing toolbar below in this box this is where we're gonna put the title for our reflective introduction okay and below in this box this is where we're gonna put the body or the content of our reflective introduction itself okay obviously you're gonna want some more substantial content than that but this is what we set out to do we edited and modified the page for our reflective introduction. Step two, what we want to do is we want to create a page for our ePortfolio artifacts. So once we've made these changes, we go up here to the top and we click Save. Great, it's been saved. The changes have been made. We're going to go up to the top and click this button, Create Page. Now we're going to see a page that looks like this. We want to keep this template, Web Page. And below here, we're just going to name it ePortfolio Artifact 1. It's very important that we keep uh, this top level page, this radio button selected. So we have that there, that's all set. We're gonna click Create Page. Okay, and it's been made here. So this space is where we're going to put the piece of writing for the course that we're including in the ePortfolio. Great, so we've created and modified the page for our ePortfolio artifact. Down here where it says attachments, we're not going to worry about attaching the artifacts yet. We're going to teach you that in a later screencast. There is one more thing to be done. We're going to go up here and click Save, and then talk about sharing your Google site, sharing your ePortfolio. There are two different ways that we're going to go about sharing depending upon what class you the student are in. If you're currently a student in Writing 101, then you're going to keep your site private and you're going to share it by email with your instructor. However, if you're in a Writing 102 class, you have a choice. You can either keep your site private, uh, still sharing it by email with your instructor, or you can choose to make it public so that anybody who has the address can access it. That choice is up to you, but we're going to show you how to share by email with your instructor because uh, that is universal for both classes. And then we're going to show you how, if you want to make it public, uh, being if you're in a Writing 102 class, you can do so. If you want to make your page public, go up and click this link that says Private to Only Me. Down here, You'll find in this bar a little link that says change. Click on it and now click on the public radio button. Click save 
and see now it's been changed here it says public down here you can share by typing in the address uh, we're of course going to share with our instructor and they'll give you a specific address it will likely be their gmail address but whatever one they give you make sure to do that I'm going to put in my own here click this is very important can view so that others can't edit your site and you can put in an optional message and that's it we're done in later screencasts we're going to be going over how to personalize the ePortfolio through adjusting templates using advanced editing features or uploading attachments to include your artifact, be it a word file, video file, etc. So we hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.